you are wrong. Well, maybe not. Hi, I'm Ivan. This is the Detailers Business Academy, where we strive to take you from detailer to entrepreneur. Now, here's a few things that eh, some people and I disagree on, and I might say they're wrong, but this is just a fun little format. If you like it, leave me a thumbs up, give me a comment, let me know if you like it or you don't like it. And don't forget, you can reply to anything I say. I love answering your questions. First of all, one thing that a lot of detailers are wrong about, I'm going to start really low price and as I gain experience and customers, I'm going to raise my prices. Wrong. No, those customers are not going to follow you. The customer that's looking for the $29.95 special, guess what? When you raise your prices to $99.95, they're still going to be looking for a $29.95 special. Start your pricing where it needs to be. Do not undercut the competition in your area. That is never, ever a good way of doing business. Find out what everybody else is charging in the area and be within that target range. Now, if you have extremes, like one person charging $500 to wash a car and another one charging $5, you want to be closer to the $500 one. That is how you're going to grow your business. If you start at the $5 level or $29.95 or whatever low price you want to do, when you go to raise that price, you're going to have to start all over again. So no, don't start low and I'll eventually creep my way up. No, you're wrong. Sorry. That car is too dirty for rinseless washing. No car is too dirty for rinseless washing. No. Rinseless washing is a skill set. It's something as a detailer, especially a professional detailer, you need to develop. Once you learn how to use a rinseless wash, there's no car you can't do with a rinseless wash. Now you're saying, well, what about that truck covered in mud? Yes, I've read all these things before. Anyways, that car covered in mud, what are you going to do to it before you take your soapy wash mitt to it? You're going to rinse it off. Well, with a rinseless wash, you're doing the same thing. There's a big difference between rinseless and waterless. They are not the same. Rinseless just means you don't rinse it after you've applied the rinseless solution to the vehicle. So if you're going to be doing your pre-rinse with your soap, then you're going to be doing your pre-rinse with the rinseless wash. Now, there are different skills, there are different ways of doing a pre-rinse with a rinseless wash. But yes, the pressure washer is definitely involved in a lot of these cases. I am so happy with my business. I am booked out like five weeks in advance. No, 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 no. When you're booked out like five weeks in advance, guess what? Your customers are going to go somewhere else. The detailers that complain online that, oh, my customer flaked on me or my customer canceled. Probably they were booked out like two, three, four, five, six weeks in advance. That's why the customer canceled. Either they don't have the car anymore because it's been so long, or they simply found another detailer that was willing to do their car when they wanted it done. Now, if your customer says, I want to book it in three weeks, by all means. But that should not be something you're imposing on your customer. Your customer wants their car done when they want it done. And if you don't have the manpower to get it done, if you are booked out more than two weeks, you need to hire someone or raise your prices. Trade shows are not for me. I'm not going to learn a damn thing. Oh, you'll notice I'm wearing a Southern Detailers Conference t-shirt today. And shows like the Southern Detailers Conference, MTE, SEMA, they're all must-attend events. You're going to come out of there a better detailer. Not because you learned a new skill, because you met new people. You've met new entrepreneurs. You've met people doing the same thing you're doing. You're going to be more motivated. You're going to find a new idea. There's education segments to all these shows. Go to those education segments. It is well, well worth the investment. I'm too busy to answer my phone. <laughs> no, what you're actually saying is, I'm too busy to serve my customers. Answer your phone when it rings. And if you don't answer your phone when it rings, make sure you have your voicemail set up. I don't know how many detailers I've called over the years that this voicemail box is full. Eh -eh. Wrong answer. Or even better, the voicemail box that you're calling has not been set up yet. Come on, people. You're running a business. A business means people need to contact you. That is how you're going to get leads. And even if you get leads through advertising like Facebook and Google and all those fun places, if you don't answer your phone, it's a dead lead. You're not going anywhere. And that person, while they have their phone in their hand and maybe Google up on the screen, guess what? They'll keep calling till someone answers. But they won't be calling you. They'll be calling someone else.
I refuse to do work like that because it's my name on the car. Wrong. Unless your name is Nikolai Tesla, Henry Ford, or Louis Chevrolet, your name is not on a car. Sure, you did the work on it. But it ends there. Too many people get hung up with their egos and get rid of your ego when you're a detailer. It's not helping you. It's not serving you. Yes, you want to be the best around. You want to be the best at customer service. Your customer really doesn't care how their car looks. If they're bringing it to you and saying, yeah, I like the way it looks. Can you just put a coating on it for me? Why? Because they want the advantages of a coating. And consumers do not see the same advantages to coatings that most detailers do. The customer doesn't care that you have 120 degree contact angle on the water beads or that it's going to boost the gloss up by two points. No, the customer wants a vehicle that's easier to clean, that they won't have to wash as often and is chemically resistant. That's what the customer wants in a coating, not a seven, nine, 20, 80 year warranty, or well, you're going to get this contact angle. It's just amazing. You're going to see these beads all over the, no, customers don't care about that. Some, yes, the odd one, but in general, they just want an easy to maintain vehicle that when, yes, you're going to cringe here. When they take it through the car wash, it comes out cleaner on the other side. If you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or ideas, please leave them below. Always have an answer, and we'll see you in the next one.